Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a log cabin. A log cabin that would look excellent on your very own campsite. What's that? You don't have a campsite? Well, good news. If you want to make one that looks suspiciously like the one that I have on the screen in front of you, all you have to do is hop into either the guard system or the description below, and you'll find a tutorial to this very campsite. You'll find a link to that video. It'll probably take you about half an hour to make and then you can come back and you can make your log cabin. Or don't. It's up to you. You can make your log cabin anywhere. But I'm also going to be leaving links to this awesome looking caravan that we have right here. And I'll also leave a link to this amazing looking car which is dragging the caravan behind. So you can find links to everything that I've just talked about both in the card system and the description below. And as I say it, it's going to be on the screen with an annotation that you can click if you're just a little bit lazy like I am. So when I say campsite, caravan, and car, they'll all appear on the screen and you can click those and follow those links if you so choose. Completely up to you. But that's more than enough talking. Let's talk about this log cabin. So this log cabin is made out of spruce wood, oak wood planks, dark oak wood planks. It's also made out of dark oak wood stairs, oak wood stairs, oak wood slabs, dark oak wood slabs. It's also made out of white stained glass and will also need some oak fence. Now, we do need loads of other stuff later on for the little bits and pieces around the cabin, but we're just going to have to deal with what we have right now. So, once you have each one of those materials and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making... No, I'll be making about here. In my original version, I made it all the way over there behind that red tent and that's where I'd like it, but unfortunately, there's a giant fishbowl there, so what are you going to do? YouTuber problems. Hashtag YouTuber problems. So, to make this cabin... We're going to want to start out with a row of four spruce wood coming up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four. And then place an outward facing dark oak wood stairs on top of that fourth spruce wood. And then go right of that dark oak wood stair by eight with your dark oak wood blanks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then place an opposite facing dark oak wood stairs and then connect it down to the ground with your spruce wood like this. Then take out your dark oak wood slabs and take the top half of the very bottom spruce wood blocks and connect them together left and right with your dark oak wood slabs. So we want to have something which should look like this. So we're just establishing where the front of this cabin is and what it looks like. We're then going to starting from the very bottom left hand side of this space on top of this first slab block we're going to go right of it by two of the oak wood blanks. We're then going to place a spruce wood, go up by two. Then right by three, that's one, two, three. Then we're going to connect it down to the slabs. We then want to take that block that touches the slab. We want to go right of it by two with the oak wood planks. We then want to fill the two empty spaces or the four empty spaces on top of the oak wood planks with your white stained glass block. Now, nothing too much more changes with this other than the fact that we'll be adding doors in later. What we now want to do, however, is we want to establish where the roof is. So we'll establish the shape of the roof and then we'll talk about the rest of the building. So the roof looks a little bit like this, starting from up one up right diagonally from this very top left hand stair can you see this very first stair that we place we want to place going inwards by one and upwards by one a dark oak wood stair facing roughly the same position we then want to go right of that stair by six with your white stained glass block that's one two three four five six we then want to place a dark oak wood stairs on the opposite side of that we then want to take the four middle blocks of this glass and place dark oak wood planks on top of them. We then want to place dark oak wood stairs either side of that row of four dark oak wood planks. And then we want to place a row of two oak wood planks on top of those two middle dark oak wood planks. Place dark oak wood stairs either side of those dark oak wood planks. And then what you can do is just place oak wood slabs on top of the oak wood. And you'll end up with a pretty ugly looking front of a cabin. Don't worry, that's not going to look like that later. We've got to mess about with it quite a bit. Well, once you've got that taken care of, however, this is what we're going to do next. So, we're going to take this very first dark oak wood stairs that we placed, and we want to go left of it by eight with your dark oak wood stairs. So, that'll look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we want to connect it down to the ground with your spruce wood, like this. Not only do you want to do this on this side, but you want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So we want to come to this 
dark oak wood stair, and we want to go to the right of it towards the back by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then connect that down to the ground with your spruce wood, like this. We then want to take out our dark oak wood slabs, and we just want to... In the same line that we connected the front of the log cabin together, we want to connect all of the cabin together. So we kind of just want to go all the way around the perimeter of it, and we just want to turn it into a nice big square shape, like this. So you can see where the floor starts. What we're also going to do, right at the back of this lovely looking cabin, we're going to connect the two dark oak wood stairs together with a row of dark oak wood planks, like this. Then, starting from the bottom left-hand corner, empty space here, going right, we want to do this sequence of, of blocks. We want to do two, dark, two oak wood planks, then one spruce wood, two oak wood planks, one spruce wood, two oak wood planks. Connect the spruce wood all the way up to that row of dark oak wood planks, and then fill in the rest of the area with your white stained glass blocks. So we'll have something which should look a little bit like this. What we then want to do is basically emulate what we have on the front there. So for the next row on top of this, building up the roof a little bit, we want to have a row of... Uh, we want to have dark oak wood stairs on the very ends of the next row, tapering up because that is the end of the roof, remember. And then we want to connect those dark oak wood stairs together with white stained glass block. We then, for the next row on top of this, want to do a row of four dark oak wood blanks on top of the four middle blocks, with a dark oak wood stairs on either end, like this. We then, for the next row, want to do two oak wood planks right in on top of the two top two center dark oak wood planks. And then we want to do dark oak wood stairs either side of those oak wood planks with oak wood slabs on top of the oak wood. So we'll end up with something that should look a little bit like that. Pretty easy, right? Well, once you've got that sorted out, we want to come to the left-hand side of the cabin. The left-hand side of the cabin can be completely filled in with oak wood planks. There's nothing going on here because we have a chimney on this side. We have a chimney, and that interferes with quite a bit. Well, once you've filled that side in with your oak wood planks, we want to come to the opposite side. The opposite side is far more interesting than the side that we've just done. And we want to... Take the very bottom left hand side of this side and we want to go right of it on top of these slabs by two with the oak wood planks. We then want to do a spruce wood, go up on top of it by two. We then want to go right by two, connect it down to the ground and then do two oak wood planks just connecting to the opposite side. You guys can see what I'm talking about. And whilst we're here, also fill on top of the oak wood planks in with your white stained glass block. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. We're going to take out our dark oak wood slabs. And we want to take each end of this side of the cabin and we want to take the pre-existing dark oak wood slabs and extend them towards us by three with the dark oak wood slabs. That's one, two, three. And then we want to do a spruce wood on the ground. So that's one side and we have to do the same to the other. That's one, two, three. And then one spruce wood. And then we want to connect the spruce woods together via the dark oak wood slabs like this. And you know what? You can also fill that little area inside of the dark oak wood slabs in with a regular oak wood slabs like this we then want to go on top of each one of those spruce wood blocks by three with the spruce wood that's one two three and that'll be one two and three and then we actually don't have to connect them together with anything really but what we do want to do is we want to take out our oak wood stairs and we want to on the outsides of the oak of the spruce wood we want to place an oak wood stair and we want to drag it towards the cabin and we want to have it so it like pokes off of the back of the house and it's also going to do the same to the front of the cabin as well and we want to drag it across so it overhangs like the front of the cabin by one row like this and this is going to taper into the actual eventual roof and it's going to look a little bit like this. We can do this on the back of the cabin, but not the front. We can take each one of the dark oak wood stairs, and we can extend them coming off of the back of the cabin by one row with the 
oak wood stairs like this and just take those and extend them off the back of the cabin and also you can add an additional oak wood stair here like on this side and you can actually drag that stair forward across the left hand side of the cabin until it reaches the front of the cabin like that and uh, if you want to you can also fill in the majority of the roof here we can all we can fill this in with our dark oak wood stairs so just connect the front part of the roof to the back part of the roof via the dark oak wood stairs so that's one side done and this is going to be the other side plus we're also going to do a layer of oak wood slabs right up at the top to connect the front and the back so um, we just want to connect the front and the back together like this and we also want to have um, on the back of the cabin here we want to have slabs overhanging the back and we want to have upside down dark oak wood stairs um, just underneath these slabs and the overhanging roof stairs. So we want to have upside down dark oak wood stairs overhanging the back of the cabin like this. And uh, once you've done that to that side of the cabin, you can actually come to, you know, the little porch that we've made. If you guys haven't figured out, this is a little bit of a porch that we have on the side. We want to take a dark oak wood stair and place a dark oak wood stair on top of each one of those spruce woods facing outwards like you'd expect a roof to. Then we want a layer of dark oak wood planks connecting each one of those dark oak wood stairs. What we then want to do is we want to take the four center blocks. Is it four or is it five? I think it's five center blocks of dark oak wood stair or dark oak wood planks. And we want to place a row of three glass on top of these three middle dark oak wood planks and then place an additional glass at the top here. So like that. And then what we want to do, we kind of just want to outline where the roof is going to be. So we want to place dark oak wood stairs on these sides of what we've just made. So like tapering up to the top, we want to have dark oak wood stairs on the sides of what we've just made. And we also want an oak wood slab on the top of it like this. What you can then do is you can then drag the oak, dark oak wood stairs towards the center of the house. And uh, we're going to have to obviously um, destroy some of the pre-existing dark oak wood stairs to connect the outer part of the roof to the inner part of the roof. So um, in some places, you'll have to destroy it. Um, there's not really any other way around it. You just want to make sure that it does emerge and it does look good um, once it does connect together. So you'll probably have to destroy the block that is already in the roof where it connects, and you'll just have to turn it into a sideways stairs. But... Um, that's what you have to do. And then you can just drag that oak wood slab, drag it as far back as it will go, and it will connect quite naturally there. But if you want to, you can even destroy that block and you can turn it into a regular oak wood stair, and that kind of like just gels a little bit better. Um, what you can also do is you can do oak wood fence surrounding the porch. So on top of the dark oak wood slabs, you can do a layer of oak wood fence surrounding the porch like this. And we'll just have something which should look a little bit like that. And just to make the roof a little bit fancier, you guys know what we have to do here. We have to make the roof overhang the side of the cabin by one row. And we're going to use oak wood stairs to do this. So we'll make it overhang the side of the cabin by one row of the stairs. We'll then do an oak wood slab coming off the top. Then we'll do upside down dark oak wood stairs underneath each one of those oak wood stairs. So we'll do upside down dark oak wood stairs like coming off each one of the overhanging oak wood stairs. So we'll end up with something that should look like that. And that is what we've done to the porch on the side. Well, as a matter of fact, it's not completely dissimilar to what we have to do to the front of the porch as well. So Obviously, not only does this have a side porch, but as you enter the house, there's another porch. And what we want to do is we want to take out our dark oak wood slabs. And coming out of the top half of the first spruce wood block that we ever placed, we want to take this block and we want to extend it out in front of the house by two of the dark oak wood slabs. And then we want to do a spruce wood like that. So you want to do that to one side and the other side. So this one, we take the top half of the bottom spruce wood, we extend it out by one, two, and then we place a spruce wood in front of that. We then want to go right of each one of those spruce woods, or we want to go right of this left one, and we want to go left of the right one. And we want to do three dark oak wood slabs. That's one, two, three. We then want to connect that down to the ground with slabs. And then we can do, just do two middle oak wood slabs, so that's one, two. And then we want to place dark oak wood slabs next to that, and then connect it to the opposite side of the porch with, once again, dark oak wood slabs. So we want to have something which should look like this. And then, on top of the spruce wood blocks that we've placed, 
And you know what? I don't know why I use spruce wood because it's not even meant to be. What they're supposed to be is outward facing uh, dark oak wood stairs. So instead of the spruce wood, you actually want outward facing dark oak wood stairs. So it looks a little bit more like a porch. It looks it 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 looks a little bit more like it. It just it just looks like a bit more of a support rather than just a plain wood, rather than what we have on the side. So we want to have something which should look like that. And what we can then do is we can then have a row of three dark oak wood planks coming up on top of each one of those stairs. So that's one, two, and three, just like we have with the spruce. And that is one, two, and three, just as we have with the spruce. We then want to place dark oak wood stairs on top of each one of the planks, like that, in line with the rest of the roof of the house. And then we want to connect those stairs together with a row of dark oak wood. And what we then basically want to do, can you see the pattern that we have here for the front of the house? Well, we want that same pattern on top of the porch. So we'll take the, uh, I believe that it's the six middle blocks of the porch, and we'll place glass on top of them. Then we'll place dark oak wood stairs either side of the glass, like this. Then for the next row, we'll do a row of four dark oak wood on top of the uh, on top of the glass, and we'll place dark oak wood stairs either side of the glass, like this. We'll then do oak wood planks on top of the two center dark oak wood planks. We'll then place dark oak wood stairs either side of the oak wood, and then we'll place oak wood slabs right at the top, and that is going to be the porch. Looks a little ugly now, it's going to look a little better in a second, trust me. What we then want to do, can you see these planks that touch the ground right at the bottom next to the oak wood? Well, we want to connect these planks from the ground all the way up to the top of what we've just made. We also want to do upside down oak wood stairs just underneath the outer outer part of the porch, like this, at the front of it. We then of course want to fill the porch in with our oak wood slabs. This would have been a little bit easier to do earlier, actually. I, I really wish I would have done this earlier, but hey, it's not that difficult. We're just a little bit cramped in at the moment. So we just want to fill that in with oak wood, and that is perfectly great. We then want to uh, fill in the areas where we have the oak wood slabs, the dark oak wood slabs, with oak wood fence, and this is just going to fence off the front of the porch like this, and what we then want to have is we want to have, uh, we then want to have a row of oak wood stairs and dark oak wood stairs, what we essentially want to do, we want to connect the house's roof to the porch roof like this, so we want to take every single stair block and we want to connect the house's roof or the cabin's roof, I should say, because it's a cabin. It's not. It's not necessarily a house. A house is a bit bigger, isn't it? So we want to connect the uh, the house's roof. I keep saying house, don't I? The cabin's roof to uh, the cabin's porch, and we just want to do that with each one of the individual stairs. So where you have the dark oak wood stairs, obviously dark oak wood, and where you have oak wood stairs, oak wood like this. And then we want to have the front of the cabin overhang the front of the... We want to have the front of the cabin's roof overhang the front of the cabin with a row of oak wood stairs. You guys know how to do this with a row of oak wood stairs like this. And and then we're going to... Oh, you also want the planks to overhang as well. Um, then we want to have upside down dark oak wood stairs underneath each one of those slabs and under each one of those oak wood stairs. And it'll end up looking a little something like that. Doesn't that look fantastic? I think so. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we then want to take these dark oak wood planks next to the initial entrance here. And we want to do two dark oak wood planks coming out in front of the cabin. We then want to do a row of oak wood slabs coming out from those oak wood slabs and then a row of oak wood stairs to, like, allow you to walk up onto the porch. We then want oak wood fence on top of those dark oak wood planks, like this, and we'll end up with something that looks ever so slightly better still. We are missing a couple of things, but let me tell you what. First of all, whilst we still have the material in our inventory, we're just going to do oak wood slabs inside the cabin. So we're just going to continue to fill in the bottom of this cabin with our oak wood slabs. And then we're going to take care of the chimney slash fire thing that's on the side of this build. We have a fire thing on the side of this build. You know those chimney things where the smoke comes out of? We have one of those. So we'll be building that afterwards. So fill in the floor with your oak wood slabs and then head outside. Um, on the outside, we're going to need some different materials. We may as well get rid of everything. Grab yourself some uh, stone brick stairs, some stone bricks, and also grab, if I can find them, some webs. Um, on the left-hand side of 
your cabin. We want to take the three middle blocks. We want to take the three middle blocks and we want to place stone bricks next to them. So we just want to place stone bricks next to these three middle blocks. And on top of these stone brick blocks, we want to stack on top of each one of these a row of six stone bricks. So that'll be one, two. We have to knock out the roof three, four, five, six. And we want to have the same for the others. So we're just going to knock out those two stairs preemptively and we're going to have our rows there. We're then going to have a row of stone bricks on the outer middle part of this as to free deify the chimney a little bit. We're then going to place a stone brick on top of this very center stone brick block and we're going to have stone brick stairs on top of each one of those slightly lower stone bricks. And then coming out of the center stone brick we just want to have like a, a little bit of a little bit of smoke because there is a fire in this cabin there's not one yet don't worry don't call the fire brigade but um there's going to be a little bit of a fire coming out from this cabin and uh that that's like it corresponds with where the chimney is it corresponds with everything and that's why we have smoke coming out that fi that that smoke looks a little bit awful I'm going to admit that. That smoke looks a little bit terrible. It could look a little bit cleaner, but you know what? It looks it looks good on the original version. It doesn't have to look that good here. It kind of looks like a question mark. And that is pretty much the entire cabin 100% fully built, or at least the building part of this. What I'm now going to show you is some interior design and some exterior design as well. Both of these things make the cabin look a little bit better. So to make the inside, we're going to need some dark oak wood doors. We'll need some stone brick slabs. We'll need some stone brick stairs. We'll also need some stone brick blocks, the regular content, as we'll need some never rack, we'll also need something to light said never rack, we'll also want some never brick fence as a bit of a fire guard, and we just want some stuff that you'd find in a house, so like bed, chest, that sort of stuff. So, inside the house here, we're going to have a nice little fireplace and it's going to be right in the center, so we're going to knock into the ground and we're going to place a never brick just here, like right in the center left of the left hand side of the cabin. That's where the fire is going to be. And now we're just going to build up a nice little bit of a fireplace surrounding it. So we're just going to place like a stone brick either side here, and then we're just going to place like stone brick stairs either side of this, like that. That looks okay, doesn't it? And we're also going to knock into the ground and we're going to replace uh, the blocks in the ground with stone bricks just surrounding this. We're going to light that fire, then we're going to place never brick fence just around that fire just to, well, I mean, just to stop you burning yourself, really. And then right in the back right hand corner of the cabin, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have a bed. So we'll have a bed here, then we'll have chests either side of the bed, and then we'll have stuff that you'd commonly find in cabin, like, I don't know, like a furnace and a crafting table. Whatever you want to put in here, you can. The interior isn't well designed, I'll be honest with you, but what else do we have in here? We also have a nice little bit of a red carpet that can be any size and shape that you want. Maybe, maybe you just want to go for a, for a little bit of a simple shape here, maybe just in front of the fire fireplace like that because that's where you'd want the carpet you'd want the carpet in front of the fireplace so you can get all nice and cozy all nice and comfortable um, I also added some hanging lights to this which I'll use Neverick fence and glowstone for um, I am using these everywhere I'll admit this I've been using this kind of lighting in every single one of my builds I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon and it's just hanging glowstone lights you don't even need that many of them to cause a, a pretty cool effect um, I might even place like one just above the door here. That's okay. Not too bad. Um, you don't need very many of them to cause a nice little bit of an effect. I might actually move this one just one block left. Um, I like to sprinkle them around a build like front, back, right, left, any any dimension you can. And I think it just makes something look a bit homier, a bit nicer. And that's all I have for the interior. Obviously, you can add other things that would make sense. You can add some armor stands with some armor and stuff like that. But that's all I've designed for the interior. Haven't done a massive amount. But where I have made this building shine... Oh, and we do need some doors to put on this cabin because obviously we, we want doors on the cabin. We don't just want anybody coming in. Um, for the porch door, I have a simple oak door. And for the actual cabin door, I use dog doors to make it look a bit more fancy but let's talk about the outside of the cabin now shall we so uh, to make the outside of the cabin we'll need some uh, we'll need pods on we'll, which is a funny word we'll need oak fence we'll need some uh, stone slabs we'll also need a cooking pot in the form of a cauldron 
We'll also need, once again, we need to make a fire. So we'll be using like nether brick stairs and we'll be using a uh, nether rack and we'll also be using uh, flint and steel. Uh, we're also going to be grabbing some materials to make a little bit of a pond and to make the pond we'll be using like uh, cobblestone slabs and we'll also obviously need some water. We'll need some more stuff as well. So um, the idea here is we're going to have a campfire in the front left-ish side of the cabin. So to make this campfire we're just going to have a formation of stone of never brick stairs and we're going to have a never rack in the center so we'll start with the never rack and then you'll place never rack stairs going all the way around the center we'll light it with flint and steel and then left and right of that fire one row away from these stair blocks we'll have a row of one two three fence and that's one row away from the left and right of the fire that's one two three fence then we'll do uh Two stone slabs coming towards the center. That's one and two. And then that's one and... Whoops. Is it? Is that the right line? I think that that's actually the right line. That's, that's the right one. It's on the lower half of the fence block. So remember that's one and two. Yeah, that's better. One and two. And then we just want to have a cauldron suspended above the fire. And that kind of looks like... I don't know, like a cooking pot or something. I quite like it. We'll also fill the fire with water. Uh, we'll fill the cauldron with water, I should say. Because why not? Well, once we have our cauldron, we then want to head to the right-hand side here, and we want to make a nice little bit of a pond. So, this pond is kind of like, it's kind of like banana-shaped in nature, and it's very random. Um, this pond is, it has a little surrounding of cobblestone slabs, and like I said, it's, it's very random, so place it randomly, and it j basically just wants to come out um, in front of the cabin, and it wants to loop around the side of the cabin here, and it just just wants to connect all the way to the back part of the cabin. So where it kind of like starts on the front of the cabin. And you're going to want to take more time than I'm going to commit to it. But you'll want to take more time to make a nice little bit of a better shape. Um, I'll show you the original version of this. The one that I'm actually quite proud of. But the idea is to, is to have like a U-shaped pond or a banana-shaped pond. And what we'll do is we'll knock out these blocks and we'll replace them with water. That's what will that's what will, that's what will happen. That's that's what will look quite nice. And we'll also replace those blocks that we place water in. We'll place some like lily pads, and we'll also place some like uh, some dirt and some plants and stuff on top of them. So that's what's going to happen there. But what we also want to do around the little property that we have is coming out in front of the cabin. We want to have kind of like a beaten path. So you kind of just want to make a little bit of a random path coming out in front of the cabin. And you want to destroy coming out in front of the cabin like a little bit of a random area, a bit of a path. Maybe it can stray like left and right as well in random places and it can connect however you want it to connect. And we also want it sparingly used around the campfire and what you do inside of the little beaten path is you place podzol so we place podzol inside of each one of the destroyed blocks that we just placed and it just kind of gives that little lived around area of effect and what else we're also going to grab is we're going to grab some bone meal and we're going to just do like random just like random patches of bone meal going around the cabin so, the cabin doesn't exactly have, like, a path that goes around it properly. If you want to build one out of pods, or you can. Um, I'm avoiding the sides, like, the front and back of the pond, by the way. I'm intentionally keeping the bone meal away from there, because I want the pond to be a nice highlight. But, it definitely adds a very nice, homely feel to the cabin. And remember, we do have to completely destroy the pond, which is something that I'm actually going to cut out here. Um, we want to completely destroy every single one of these grass blocks inside the pond, and then we want to replace them with water. I'm going to be back in just a second with how I want the pond to look and it'll be quite obvious what you have to do but I don't want to include this on recording because this is already getting quite long. And there we go that is the pond that sits directly to the right of this lovely looking cabin that we have. As you can see we just have sporadically we have like grass blocks with a little bit of grass added on top of them funnily enough and we have some lily pads scattered about the pond and it just kind of sets a scene here. It just makes a pretty homely looking cabin. It doesn't even have have to be placed on a campsite if you don't want it to but it definitely adds to the whole thing um 
it, it definitely adds to a campsite and it makes it look really, really cool. So that is this entire tutorial completely finished. Why don't I show you the original version of this and you can see a slightly more polished version. It's very, very similar to this, but why don't I show you a little bit more of a polished version? Not that there's anything wrong with this because it looks fantastic. So this is the original version of my wooden cabin. As you can see, there's very little changes. It's very, very, very similar to the one that we've just made. It's just that I spent a little bit more time shaping the pond and I spent a little bit more time shaping the surroundings a little bit. I like both of them equally. There's nothing wrong with either of them, but that's the log cabin. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give this video a like, give it a favorite, give it a share. I'd really, really appreciate it. I worked hard on this. I don't know whether it shows or not, but I think that this is a really awesome looking cabin and I, I really hope that you guys appreciate that I'm tying a lot of these builds together. Like this would look excellent on your very own campsite which would look awesome with the caravan, which would look awesome with the car. And you might even be able to see what's coming on in the future here. So later on, we're going to have a lake and we're going to have a bridge and we're going to have like a lake house and you're going to have a whole little thing going on here. There's going to be loads and loads of builds all tied together and you can have an amazing little part of your world styled exactly how you like it. So that's the wooden cabin, log cabin, whatever I decide to call this thing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, give it a favorite, give it a share. I'd really, really appreciate it. I honestly would. I would love it if you guys showed this video some love. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already obviously we do loads and loads of different builds around here i mean just look forward we have loads of different types of builds that way we have in loads of different types of builds that way everything is completely different um hopefully you enjoyed this comment down below what else do you want to see me make next do you want to see any more campsite related builds do you have anything on your mind do you have any pokemon builds whatever you want me to come up with let me know down there in the comment section um check out the card system check out the description below i'm going to be giving you a link to the campsite that you can see to the caravan to the car and any future builds that correspond with this so check that out if you want to that's in the description and the card system thank you very much for watching guys like share if you wouldn't mind subscribe if you haven't already comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video